God bless you, everyone. Welcome back to our channel and another daily devotion, the word for you today, which is the story of your Bible. The scripture is 1 Peter 1 and 25, and it says the word of the Lord endures forever. Now, this is the word which by the gospel was preached to you. All right, so let's dig right in. <laughs> in the 14th century, there was not a single copy of the Bible in English. It was available only in Latin, the language of the clergy, and those were changed to the podiums of the cathedrals. Then a prominent professor at divinity of divinity at Oxford University said, this is not right. People should be able to read the Bible in their own language. Church leaders branded him a heretic and an instrument of the devil. Sounds like them. Like, sorry, help me, Lord. <laughs> like Noah, who pounded the nails into the ark while people ridiculed and scorned him, John Wycliffe began translating the scriptures as a flood of persecution emerged around him. Ooh, that devil was mad, huh? When he finally completed his translation of the scriptures, he wrote this in the fly leaf of the first copy of the English scriptures. This Bible is translated and shall make possible a government of the people, by the people, and for the people. 500 years later, President Abraham Lincoln borrowed that statement for his famous Gettysburg Address. 30 years after Wycliffe died, he was again proclaimed a heretic. Go figure. Consequently, his body was exhumed and his bones were burned to dust. Wow. And his ashes cast into a river. A contemporary historian describes the scene like this. Thus, this brook hath conveyed his ashes into the river, Avon, Avon into Severn, Severn into the narrow seas, they into the ocean. And thus ashes are the emblem of his doctrine now disperse the world over. Hence, Peter writes, the word of the Lord endures forever. Now, this is the word which by the gospel was preached unto you. So there you have it, the story of your Bible. If you haven't done so already, please make sure you click on, click on that subscribe button. And we thank you for your support. God bless you. See you tomorrow.